Now the next thing that you need is a boiling pot or a kettle. Now we're going to be boiling between two and a half to three gallons of liquid. So make sure that your pot is at least four gallons. Five and six gallon pots work awesome. Now the material, it doesn't really matter. I recommend stainless steel or aluminum. Just don't get those ones with black paint on it because they chip and they rust really easy. And of course you need something to mix it with. Um, some people use wooden spoons. I have a metal spoon right here. And if you go to any website and look at beer brewing spoons, just type that in. They're going to give you a lot of options. So anyways, a spoon and at least a four gallon boiling pot. Now the next thing that you need is a six gallon fermenter. Now this thing right here is called a fermenter or a carboy. People have different names for them. I have a glass one right here, but some people use plastic. Some people actually use buckets for this process, but I recommend a fermenter. It's a, a lot easier. And basically the reason that we need it is because whenever we have our beer and it's not, it doesn't have alcohol in it yet, we put the yeast in and the yeast is going to eat the sugar and convert it into alcohol. However, it doesn't happen instantly. It takes a long time. Sometimes it takes two weeks. Sometimes it takes a month. And while that process happens, we need to put it in a container and set it off to the side and let the yeast do its thing. So again, like I said, this is called a fermenter or a carboy. I recommend getting a six gallon one. And um, I also recommend getting glass. It's a lot better than plastic. Now one optional accessory that you may want, and this is actually really cheap and really handy, is just a carboy stand or a fermenter holder, whatever you want to call it. Basically, these things, whenever you wash them, they're a pain to dry. So they can go ahead and sit on these really easy and it helps dry it a lot. Because if you just set it on here, right side up, and they dry like that, all of the water is gonna go to the bottom and you're gonna have water stains or sediment on the bottom. So again, invest in one of these. It's really cheap. It's probably like under $5 and it's really handy.